Wherever we are around the world, there is an array of amazing animals. It's Ashley here, and in this video, we look at classifying creatures and how children can observe and compare the different animal groups and the species within them by paying close attention to their individual characteristics. Let's go! Here is my selection of our many resources on this area of learning, and it really is hard to whittle it down. We take a look at resources which first compare vertebrates with invertebrates so children can sort out animals into these two distinct groups. To engage your learners, we have PowerPoints, fact cards, and classification keys to name just a few. Simply grouping into vertebrates and invertebrates, this PowerPoint serves as a great class starter. There will sure be a few giggles as well, as we really find out what do children know about even us humans. Next up is this fact or fiction card game, and it really is quite versatile. With adult guidance, it can encourage children to get out on a nature safari, to actually seek out some of the native species in their local area. Cut the cards up so children can present to their peers to see if others can decipher if the information on them is fact or fiction. Out of three statements on each card, one will be incorrect. The same game can also be completed with challenge partners. And why not create brand new information cards in a pair or independently? More information cards we have! Once again, to be cut off and put in visible locations, children can use these as a starting point before researching further to create their own informational texts or posters. If you really want to keep it fun, why not encourage your quiz masters in the group to come forth and write some questions using these facts? Get the colours out for this spot, the Invertebrates Challenge. A quick, fun task which can be expanded with labels, facts, and something to encourage study questions for children to inquire with further later on. We also have two lesson videos all about grouping animals based on their characteristics, as well as understanding and appreciating wildlife. Lesson video 2 offers strategies for learners to conserve the wildlife around them, and what better place to start than actually survey what is in the outdoor spaces on their turf. Delving a bit deeper, we have resources across both key stages, and this classifying living things PowerPoint is a brilliant example of how classification keys can be essential in identifying different wildlife. I particularly like the information about the Linnean system, which offers a detailed method to classify creatures. And we really do have a whole host of tasks using classification keys and flowcharts. Many of them include cutting out, drawing, or simply labelling the species after answering questions to find out what exactly they are dealing with. Extend learning further and children can come up with their own questions to classify creatures. We've looked at activities to focus children's observational skills on key characteristics of species which could be across ecosystems, at home or abroad. Importantly, children will see and hear the creatures which are around them, make comparisons, and learn the importance of nature, wildlife, and protecting our planet. And we can only do that if we are aware of what treasures we have all around us. So what are you waiting for? Get downloading and see how fascinated children are when they look, observe, and compare the world around us. Bye for now!